on, bud. We're going live. All right. Hello. How's everybody doing out there? This is Pete. I'm behind the camera right here. We got Josh today. We're going live on uh, YouTube on Sunday instead of Saturday, uh, Friday, because Josh is here. We're working on our 69 Mustang. We're going to get to that in a minute. What we're doing is we are recovering a package tray. Go ahead and explain what's going on here, Josh. Well, the old package tray was all deteriorated. Talk loud. The old package tray was all deteriorated. Okay. So we had to cut a new pattern. So we cut. Now, what did we use for that? What kind of cardboard is this, this bud? It's a waterproof board. This is a waterproof cardboard. Now, can you buy that anywhere, or yeah, do you? Upholstery shop. Upholstery. Okay. You know, supply. Right, and then we're going to cover it with half-inch foam. And then what kind of uh, material are we looking at here? That's the original. So this is kind of like original style interior yeah, from the 1969 that you had to order online or they what? Call it, they call it Moon Crater. Moon Crater? Moon Crater. It's okay. It's Ford material that they use. Uh-huh. So you're going to, so yeah. basically, how did you, now I see you already put the foam on here. How did you put that foam on there? What did you do that with? Just glue. Just Show us what you got. Show us the tools, bud. Contact adhesive. Hold on, Josh. You can't talk when you turn around, bud. Go ahead and show. Okay, well, so what are we looking at? Just contact adhesive, yellow mm -hmm. blue. Okay, so this is cheap. This is a cheap, inexpensive, like Home Depot or Lowe's spray gun. Not that the gun is cheap. The, the uh -huh. blue is about fifty dollars a gallon. Okay. But uh, you just spray both sides, the sides of, of whatever you're. Right, right. And then the material, spray both sides, glue it, leave it there, let it dry. Uh huh. Now let me ask you this: so you let it dry, and then once it's dry, it's a uh, contact cement. Contact. Yeah. That's basically what it is, because when it dries and you touch the then two you, surfaces, you, yeah. it's there permanently forever. Permanent. Now they use that with carpet and everything as well. Am I right? Yeah, carpet. You know. So yeah. the contact cement is like your best friend when you're doing interior. Yeah, we use it for everything. Can it be thinned down to spray? No, not really, because then that takes away the adhesiveness. Okay, so what you're saying is it won't use, it's sprayable out of the can. Don't thin it down. I had somebody over here ask. They wanted to know, Josh. Yeah, no. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and tell them who you are. You're Josh, the interior guy. You're in uh, Haltom City. No, Rich, uh, North Richland. North Richland Hills, so that's right in between Fort Worth and Dallas. What's your phone number, Josh? 682-222-2491. Okay, that was real fast. You want to go slower? 682 222 2491. Okay, now um, you're doing all this out of your home right now. You're temporarily out of a shop. So if you got headliner problems, seat, seat problems, carpet, anything, door anything door except for actually owning the vehicle and bringing it over to get a full custom interior, you're the guy that's going to help us out. I can do full custom interior. So you can do it over at your house? Yeah. Okay, yeah. buddy. There you go. Give Josh a call. He's the one that does all our interior work over here at SWRNC, and we're going to make sure that he gets paid good for doing this big job. Go ahead and show us how that glue's on there. Hold on a minute. Hold on one second. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why are you riding my fucking lawnmower? Uh, to mow the place where we got to. Then if you're going to mow it, mow it. Quit taking around. The gas can. Okay. Mow. Uh, Motherfucker. You're over here fucking with me, dude. I'm over here doing a, a, a YouTube live video, and, and yeah, that's right, Larry's kid, you got it. Larry's kid? Yeah, get the gas, get it mowed. Lawnmower Larry Jr. Okay, Josh, go ahead. So this, so this is one surface here, that's the other surface. What are we doing, bud? Covered the waterproof board with a half inch foam, then spray both sides of that, wait, let it dry, applied it, now we spray the foam side and the material side, let that dry, stick it, you know, Work the wrinkles out as you uh -huh. can. And okay, so you're splitting it in half. You're not doing it. No, I, I spray one side of this, one side of that, and then pull huh. it over, stick it, pull this side over, spray those two sides, and then work the wrinkles huh. out. Now let me ask you this: um, What's the air pressure on your spray gun? We had somebody ask that. Uh, I usually use around 30 pounds. 35, 40 pounds, because we're running about 95 to 110 right now. Yeah, that's, I, I, Okay. All right, so we're going to spray this whole surface and that whole surface. You're going to let it dry for what, about five minutes? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, dude. Show us what we got. So if we watch Josh, what he's doing is he's taking a cheap, inexpensive spray gun with the contact cement. Now, you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy contact cement. You don't have to get some high-tech professional bullshit. Um, contact cement is contact cement, but as you can see, he's spraying the surface down and he's getting it sprayed. So what he'll do is I'll uh, spray the other surface. What the fuck? Hold on a minute. 
Get the fuck out of here. You're fucking with me. You're fucking with me, dude. Leave. Okay, back to Josh over here. So what we're doing is he's spraying both surfaces. He split his um, pattern in half. And what that does is instead of covering the whole thing at one time, that's going to help you on your wrinkles and getting it on there squared up like you want it to do. So while Josh is finishing that, we're going to go look at the Mustang we're working on. This is our 69 Mach 1. And I have taken this dash out three times already. This is a three-time dash situation. Uh, I'll be putting it back in permanently tomorrow. I had to wire up some extra stuff for the owner and make sure that her um, yeah, lights on the door were working. And then I got to run some wires down th under the carpet for her center console, which is over there. And we're finishing up the interior. Now the package tray that Josh is making is going in this area right here. Um, we actually have the package tray already ready to cover and then the owner wanted us to put some uh, speakers in the back package tray so we had to put a stop on it of course. But uh, we're going to go ahead and install the sail panel um, yeah, interior parts as well which are right here. And this will give you a good example of what Josh is doing. Um, he's covering, here's our blackboard back here, you got the foam. And then he's covering that with that factory original material. And then we're going to uh, install them into the vehicle so it'll be done and ready. So Rick, the glass guy, can come over and put the back glass in. Um, Rick also, we're going to go up here. He also installed the headliner on this. I'm sorry, Josh. Um, he put the headliner in this car as well. Very, very nice, beautiful job. And we got to thank Josh for coming over here and uh, doing all that hard work because interior work is not the easiest work there is. And I'm going to tell you something else about interior guys. Um, it's very important that when you are getting your interior done that you shop around. Interior shops are very shysterly and crooked. And that's why I work with Josh because I've known Josh a long time and he's very honest. But I have dealt with some really ridiculous you know, upholstery shops in my life and I'm going to tell you that's one of the worst people to deal with is upholstery shops. Uh, next to transmission shops I would say upholstery shops are the biggest rip-offs there are in the industry of automobiles, automotive restoration, automotive repair. So if you come across an interior guy that's honest and and willing to work with you and is reasonably priced and you can trust you better keep his phone number because you'll never know when you need it again. And Okay, let's go see what Josh is doing. I think he's ready to start getting that on there. Okay, Josh, what's going on? You're already sticking it on there. Sticking it on there, working the wrinkles out. Okay, so you're working all the wrinkles out around the edges? Yeah. Okay. Now, how long did you have to let that sit? It only felt like it was about a minute yeah, or two. It's a hot day. So on a hot day, it only takes about a minute. Yeah. Now, what if they went to Lowe's and bought contact cement in the court? Could they do that and use a brush? Um... Yeah, I use a brush a lot of times when you don't have foam underneath. Uh -huh. When the glue, once it dries, it kind of, yeah. you'll see it, you know, it's right, right. material, you'll see little dots of glue. So, so yeah. it's better to spray it on where it, yeah, it's, it's yeah, an even if splatter. A hard, if you're spraying it on a hard surface uh -huh. and covering it with a thin piece of material, you'll probably get it. Yeah. See, this is usually on Friday nights, dude. We had some serious uh, situations on Friday. We couldn't have it, so... I figure, what the hell, we're over here with Josh today, we might as well get her going, right buddy? Okay, so you got one hand underneath. Now once that dries, it really doesn't uh, hurt to touch it. No, it's, you, and you can unstick it, uh -huh. stick it again. Okay. It, it takes a couple hours to actually sit. So. All right, all right, that sounds cool. So what we're doing tonight, for everybody that just caught up with us, Sunday night of course, we're over here at SWRNC, we're working seven days a week of course and what we're doing is we're trying to finish up on this interior job over here on the 69 mustang and once again this is just for people that just caught up with us here uh josh is installing and covering the package tray this is a very large package tray that goes in our mustang back here what do you need more glue on that josh or okay. there you go buddy all right so he's using a throwaway spray gun when that thing gets old he just goes and buys another how much do those cost josh 
15 bucks. I've had this for three, fifteen dollars. Three, four years. I've had really? <laughs> never cleaned it. Huh? Just keep gluing it all the time. That's pretty good, buddy. Okay. So the package tray that is he's working on is going in this car right here. Now I want everybody to look and see how big this area is. This is a very large package tray. These Mustangs. Um, I had a lot of extra space in them because of the fastback situation and uh, very hard. If you're working on a Mustang, do not lose these metal pieces. I'm going to tell you this right now. Um, if you lose that back seat area, all that metal that you're looking at right there, you are screwed. Those are very hard to find, very rare, and when you do find them, let me tell you something, um, very fucking expensive. Uh, we got Otto from the UK. Uh, Otto is a guy that's in line to get his car restored over here while Josh is busy. We're going to walk over here. I want to show you Otto's car. I'm sure he wants to look at it too. And if you look right there, the very first car in line over on the right, you're going to see that uh, Otto's car is waiting to come into the shop so he can start doing the body work. His is that red Camaro right there, 67 model. And I have a feeling he's really excited to get going on that. So. We got Nitpick Norm out here. Everybody say hi to Nitpick Norm. He's out there mowing my lawn today. Um, I guess his son Ryan couldn't figure out how to use a riding fuck off lawnmower. So, uh, yeah, that's life. Norm's going to do it. But anyway, that's Otto's car, and that's in line to get restored over here. And uh, we're going to be making a lot of fun videos with that. Um, go back into my video set, and you'll see where Otto and his buddy came out here to the America, to the United States. I took him to some car shows. And, uh, okay. Hey, yeah, Norm, this guy says hi. Just letting you know. Keep on working there, buddy. Good job. Okay. All right. So, now that we did all that, uh, let's get back with Josh, see what's going on with his angle on our 1969 Mustang. Hopefully, this car is going to be out of here this week. I'm going to turn some lights on, and uh, we'll get this thing down the road, and the owner's going to be really happy. Um, how's it going on now, Josh? Good. Looking pretty nice. I like that. That looks really good, buddy. So is it real important to, when you got the foam on there, what if you push real hard on it? You don't want to or you do? Uh, depends. The, the thicker the foam, the, least, the less it matters. Uh-huh. So when you got foam, thin foam, it'll it'll leave imprints in it? or yeah, it'll leave fingerprints, so you want to be careful. So you really want to be careful. So the thinner the foam. And I want to let everybody know I had to go buy this foam today um, because we did not have any foam, and this is like a situation that says we got to get this job done. That little piece of fuck off foam you see right there was 37 fucking dollars over at Joann's Fabrics. So um, make sure that you shop around and find the right place to buy your shit. This was an emergency situation. I didn't have any choice but to buy that foam and I couldn't believe the price. I'm gonna let Josh take the rest of that home and do what he wants to with it because I don't need it for nothing, Josh. Okay, so is one side done or what? Okay, so now what we did, we flipped it over, and you're just going to repeat your process. Okay. All right. So he's just repeating his process, and what he'll do is let the glue dry for a couple minutes, and then once the glue dries, um, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Are you going to go ahead and fold the edges over on this, or um, cut it where it folds one over? This side, you fold it and wrap it around. This side, we're going to leave it long. Uh huh. Why are you going to leave that side long? Because you glue it down to the... Uh, oh, I see. Okay. The, oh, so the seat, seat so it goes yeah, behind the seat behind then. The seat. Right, right, right. Okay, bud. Yeah, foam's a fucking ripoff. You got that, uh, Mr. 440 guy. Uh, earlier, we took Norm's um, 68 uh, Roadrunner out for a little run. You're going to want to watch that video on SWRNC. Um, it's got a 440 Magnum police interceptor engine in it, and that thing is like a rocket ship, so... Uh, he likes that one better than the one that he has, but anyway, back to our interior job here. Um, interior can be a bitch. Uh, you got to watch out what you're doing. There's a lot of DIY guys out there that want to do this at home, which is no problem when it comes to this type of stuff. But when you get into the sewing situation, that's what really gets your ass in a grind. Uh, yeah, Pete got screwed by Joanne. You ain't fucking lying. $37 worth of screwing, fucking bitch. But anyway, I'm sorry, that was a comment somebody just left for all you latecomers here. Um, you know, this is kind of an easy situation to do in this tile interior. What really is hard is when you get into the sewing of the seats. Um, using the sewing machine and getting everything lined out and getting all those lines perfect and really, you know, laying down your uh, pattern 
that's the hard part so you know there's a lot you can do at home as far as interior goes but then on the other hand it's most of the time and sometimes it's better just let a professional do it to save you money what the fuck is going on over here norms mowing our fucking yard like hey hey what's up norm what are you fucking doing oh, man. huh oh. son of a bitch Am I, am I going to call you Norm, the mower guy? No, that's Larry's job. That's your job? Okay, you're just here taking up his slack. Exactly. All right, well, do a good job, dude. I'm only doing this, but i got to go. Okay. All right. All right. Norm, the lawnmower guy. Doing a good job and helping my friend Pete out any way he can. Um, hell of a guy. Old Norm's a fucking hell of a guy. Whoops. There we go. All right, let's get. Come here, bud. Why is your dad mowing the lawn? Uh, I, thought you said I thought you were fucking mowing it, I dude. Did. I did. I grabbed my shoes. So you're not gonna mow it now? No, I already mowed like half. Of it. You didn't mow shit. Oh, I didn't see you mow nothing, Ryan. Oh man, you worked your ass off. You were sweating, bro. There's our Vega right there. It's getting ready to come in the shop. Uh, Mr. Vega's gonna be a happy camper when we get that car going. Bam, in the shop it goes. And up on the fucking thumbs up on that deal. Uh, it's gonna be badass. I'm really excited about our uh, Vega as soon as we get it in the shop. Right now though, we're working on this. How's it going, Josh? The wind is not helping. Okay, can you help him with this, Ryan? You yes, got two I, fucking hands. Yeah, I exactly know what I'm doing. Then help him do what he's asked you to do, dude. Hold, hold his yeah. Just hold it so it won't slide around. Okay. There you go. Stretch it out. Don't put the glue. You're good, you're good. Sorry. Okay. Hold it, bro. Hold, hold it. it. Okay. You're the one that wanted to be on YouTube. You're on YouTube. Everybody sees you, bud. So, Tell them about Facebook. your YouTube channel. It's Facebook. It's Facebook. You got a YouTube? No, this is YouTube Live, dude. Oh, is it? Yeah. You got a fa you got a YouTube channel? Yeah, but I'm not gonna give it out. Go ahead. It's about <laughs> fishing. Oh, yeah. You're a fisherman. Yes, I am. You're a fisher guy. Yep. What's the name of your channel? I'll keep that myself. Oh, you don't want no subscribers or nah, viewers? All right, King Catch TV. Go check it out. What is it called? King Catch TV. King Catch TV. TV. Yeah. King is in K-I-N-G-T. King Catch. Yeah. TV. Okay. K-K-T. 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 Okay, King Catch. So everything's spelled with a K. You're well, trying no, to be no, no, tricky. No. Help him out on that, Josh. Help him out, Ryan. Hold it. If you're not going to help your dad, help Josh. Okay. See, sometimes you got to get on asses to get shit done around here. Okay, especially clowns asses. Is that funny? Oh, it's very funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like being on uh, Live Lesson, uh, oh, My Friend Pete? I love it, yeah. Good. Yeah. What are you doing, Josh? What happened now, dude? Okay, more glue. Help him out, Ryan. What we got to get this done here. We're running out of time. My battery's going dead. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm looking at my battery here, and it says we got about fucking 13% battery life left. So I don't know how long this is going to last, but um, I don't know if you even learned anything out of this situation. The only thing I know that you learned is this fucking Mustang's getting closer to get the hell out of my shop so I can have a clean bay. We got the Vicky done over here. We're waiting on the owner to come pick that up, take it back to Canada with him. The Chevelle is over there. It's a done deal. We got a new car in the shop. Let's go look at that while Josh is covering this. Um, I was wanting to see a little angle of what it looked like finished. Help him, dude. Dude, please. Hold that in for the... Yeah, I got it. Okay, we got a guy here that says charge the battery. Uh, clown act battery. There you go. <laughs> clown act. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's let's go over here. Um, let's go over here. We got us a Carmen Gear convertible, and what we're going to do with this baby? Uh, got some major damage over here, right here. Uh, let's take a look at that. Son of a bitch! Look what happened. Big fucking job. It's not looking good, guys. Not looking good at all. We got another front clip out there. I'm going to make a detailed video set of this. You all want to make sure that you fucking watch that. Um, there's our Chevelle. It's a done deal. We're going to get that on camera before it leaves. I'm going to go live with that one because I want everybody to see that baby in action. But uh, I want to look at that Chevelle over there. You can see that's a flat paint. That's epoxy primer that I put toner in. We're going to do the same thing on this thing. We're going to make it red, though, 
So it's going to be kind of a rat rodish, hot rod fucking type situation with the Carmen Gear convertible. Big job right there. Okay. Uh, we're going to go back over here, see how far they got. Um, and uh, we're going to cut them holes out, Josh, for the speakers. Now we got to cut those out. Cut them out, dude. Roll them around. Okay, so Josh has got our package tray covered. He's going to take it. Well, how are you going to cut them holes out, bud? Blade. Just take a razor blade and kind of go wham. Yeah. Show us how to do one of those before we hit the road, buddy. Okay. Are you learning anything here, guy? Oh, yeah. Because I know you don't know how to mow the fucking lawn, dude. Right. A little bit ridiculous, buddy. Oh, yeah. Okay, what happened to Mr. Chevelle guy? You got to watch the videos. You got to I can't give the storyline away, bud. It's coming up. Make sure you stay tuned. You're going to love the ending on that one. You're going to love the ending. You will not believe, and you'll be shocked, what happened to his wife. Wait, that's the one with the, I don't know about that, right? You're going to be shocked. Very shocked. Better? But what Josh is doing, um, we're talking interior here, bud. What's that? We're talking interior. Yeah. Okay, forget it. Okay about it okay so uh are you using some special kind of scissors there josh or what's going on scissors. I, I i saw upholstery you cut scissors, yeah. okay so upholstery scissors are different well they're bigger huh steel. okay because i see you kind of using them you're not even really cutting you're just like slicing yeah. and dicing yeah huh now how much does a set of high quality upholstery scissors like that cost josh uh these are like 60 dollars 60 fucking dollars because those sat in my tool box for like two years I have a couple pairs. Damn, dude. You're lucky I'm an honest guy and I gave them back to you. Yeah, I have a few pairs. Yeah. Well, you know, you're a man of the trade, dude. You know, you got to have tools of the trade to do the job. All right, so you're turning it over. You're going to put a little bit of glue here. Am I right? And then once you glue that, you'll fold that edge. But on the other hand, you're going to leave this one long. First, I'm going to cut the... Okay. Okay, so what Josh is doing now, he's cutting out the speaker holes and he's going to cut the foam first. And you can see... He's taking a razor blade and just an inch at a time to get over to the edge because he doesn't want to uh, overcut. Slice the material underneath. Slice the material, there you go. And you just say a regular old razor blade regular you work blade, with, that's yeah. all you work with. Yep. Huh. Pretty crazy, bud. Because I thought you'd have some kind of like cutting apparatus that, you know, those kind that have the, the uh, blades that you break off. Yeah, these work the best. Really? Easy to manipulate. And then you just throw them away, huh? Yeah. So he's being real careful not to cut the material because what he's going to do, he's going to cut the material a little bit larger and then he'll roll the material around. I really should have cut the foam first, but I thought we were going to leave the... Yeah. The well, that's all right. It doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter now, buddy. Because we're here to do upholstery work. It's upholstery night at my friend Pete's shop and we're getting her done, bud. I like that shirt, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, Thanks like for that. advertising, bud. There you go. Look at there. Something's fucked up here, Tom. Yeah, that's all right. What? Set upside down? Or? Uh, I don't know. Oh, don't yeah. worry about my phone, bitch. Okay. <laughs> Damn, Josh. You believe this guy. Yeah, I don't know. Huh? What are you going to do with youth today? Yeah, what are we going to do with youth, Ryan? Get them all on the Okay. Uh, Juan asked for my bug. My bug's in the paint booth right now. He's blocked in by the Carmen Gia. We, we can't go in there, man. All right. No, okay. No. Okay, so we're, what we're going to do is... Cut it. I'm going to cut first. Leave it probably an inch. Okay, leave about an inch. Let's cut an X. Leave an inch on either side. Uh-huh. And then just leave an inch and just cut it like this. Okay, so you're cutting slices in it so you can go around and just glue it, but you got to leave it about an inch all the way around. That's for compensating for the foam. Yeah, so when and you wrap it around, right. it'll, it kind of... You have enough to there cover, you go. See? Yeah, because you don't want to go too far, right? Then you'll, see, then you'll see all the little cuts. Right, right. Huh. I understand that, dude. You don't want that. I've actually seen guys that overcut it, and then you see a cut on the uh, front side of it. And that looks like shit. Yep. What's happening with the orange bug? It's doing nothing but rotting in the back. Uh, I'm going to make a couch out of that bug one day. Uh, and if you hear me talking randomly, I'm just answering questions on here. Is the Rustang there? Yes, the Rustang is here. Um, it's in the back, and it's going to be coming in the shop as well. Okay, so now Josh is going to put some more glue on it, and then what are you going to do? Wrap it around, Josh? Wrap it around. Wrap it around and be done with it. Okay. There you go, bud. 
about it on the dash. Thanks, so. No, we took okay, so we're going to let it sit for a minute, dry. Uh, Minnie's doing great. Uh, she's not with us tonight. She's at home. Norm, what's up? Okay. And then you're going to repeat your process, and then you're going to cover it, right? Yeah. Wrap it around. There you go. So that's how you cut out your uh, holes for your speakers. The wireless, the wireless extender sucks. We're taking it back. Okay? It's gone. It's a bitch. Fuck that. $135, waste of money. You know what a wireless extender is? It's a piece of shit! I'm taking it back! Okay? Yep. Keep on fucking wearing my shirt, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, bud. What's up, Norm? What are you what are you bitching about now? Did you pick up my safety glasses off your desk? No, I didn't. I don't know where you're fucking. Are look you, in your truck, Norm. They aren't in my truck unless you put them in there. Go look in your truck. Maybe your glasses are in your truck. You got. You told me you had a hundred pairs of them. No, these are the only sunglasses. Well, son of a bitch, look in your hot rod car over there. Look around the shop. That's what happens when you wear black glasses, Norm. Okay. They get set down. Okay, oh. Ryan. Yep. You don't like to work, do you, bud? No, I do. As least as possible, right? Nope. I like to work. Okay, we're good. Hey, easy, dude. What the hell? Get the cameras on my face, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, Ryan's a good kid. Tell everybody what you do for a living, Ryan. Um, uh, You're an entrepreneur, right? Yep. What do you do, bud? I buy, fix, and sell You buy and, and sell stuff and sell it on Craigslist. How old are you, dude? 16. 16 years old, entrepreneur, making pretty good fucking money doing it. What are you working on now? Uh, I got a jet boat right now. Jet boat? And a couple of uh, ATVs. Now, how much did you buy that uh, jet boat for? 500 bucks. Okay. $500? Yep. How much you plan on getting for it? About 4000 4, Huh. Uh, you let me know when you do that, and I want to see that sale. I Film it. Know. Yep. I want to see that, All okay? Right. I want to see you sell a boat for $4,000 that you bought for five. All right. Thank you very much. No problem. Okay, so we're back over here on our speaker thing, and we're going to have to go ahead and say goodbye on this. Um, where, why isn't Norm wearing uh, an SWRNC shirt? Pete never gave me one. That's bullshit. I gave you five or six. Never did. You never, ever, 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 ever did. Okay, you well, I'm sorry, Ryan. dude. You gave him I'm sorry. Garrett. Look in the Mustang. Maybe they're in there, Norm. Is that the and cheese? Do you know where this guy's glasses are? I haven't seen him. Son of a bitch. Okay, we got to go, bud. Uh, what else can you tell us about this thing before we hit the road, guy? Just uh, get the wrinkles out. Should be okay. Okay. Maybe when we come back someday, Josh will be able to show us the rest of how this is done. And hopefully, things will work out. And our Mustang 1969 right there will be out of our shop this week, hopefully. Uh, we'll try to see you on Friday night. And if we come back Friday night... We're going to probably be looking at this car extensively and uh, going over it. So we'll see y'all later. Take it easy. My friend Pete, your friend Pete. We got nip -tip -nip pick Norm over here looking for his glasses. Oh, my glasses. Okay, <laughs> find them, Norm. And they're nice ones, too. They got the gold oh, rings yeah. on them, too. Yeah, yeah. Golly. And, and we, got, uh, uh, we got Ryan, Mr. Entrepreneur, fucking Craigslist king over here. And we also got Josh, the interior guy. If anybody needs any interior out there. Now, you're taking your car over there tonight, right, Norm? Or what? Yeah, we are. He's got to finish this. Hang on. Let's go show him your car, Norm, before we go. My car's way in the back because I didn't know we were going I'll drive it back. I thought we were taking it, dude. Okay. I thought we were following you. How much longer? I got it. I'll go grab it. Hour. About 45 minutes, an hour. An hour, so that means two hours. I'll go grab it. Norm, we're taking it tonight. All right, we got to go, Josh. Take it easy, bud. What's your phone number one more time? 682 222. Give Josh a call. He's getting ready to do Norm's car. What kind of car, Norm? Uh, 92 Supra. There you Turbo. go. Anybody that knows what one of those are, I guess you said those things are... They're pretty hot cars. <sighs> pretty hot cars? Okay. They're fun to drive. All right. Okay. We got to go, guys. Thanks for joining us over here. And hopefully, we'll get this thing done and have it in gear. So when we come back, we're going to be looking at it done. Take it easy. See you later, Josh. Okay. All right, Ryan. Thanks a lot, bro. See you later. Norm, wear your shirt next time. I got you one. I got you one.